His Holiness. Sushma Sivadji, Sam Petrodachi, Swamiji, Mr. Shankar, distinguished members on the dais, ladies and gentlemen, and all those wonderful students who who constructed this lovely video clip of mine together with the painting. Thank you so much. It was really beautiful. I would like to thank the South Indian Education Society for inviting me here today and honoring me with this recognition. I just feel that um, I'm a person that is out of place in this very distinguished gathering. When all the awardees were standing by His Holiness and I was standing next to Sushmaji, she told me that you have been destined to be photographed with ladies that are shorter than you. <laughs> tell Sushmaji that I may be physically taller than her, but today I'm absolutely dwarfed in your company. And may I just say that this condition just doesn't exist publicly. Domestically too, I am absolutely dwarfed. that this wonderful educational society that does so much for the country and for the youth has decided to honor a person from the film industry, an industry that has for many years from the time of its inception been looked upon somewhat negatively. But as we celebrate a hundred years of the Indian film industry, one cannot but admire the resilience of this wonderful fraternity. March 1913, Dagasar Palke made the first film, Raja Harishchand, the story of an honest and upright king who sacrificed his kingdom, his throne, and even his own children in the pursuit of truth. And Indian cinema has traveled for 100 years. 50, 60 years ago, Indian cinema was considered to be infratic. Children from good homes were not allowed to be associated with cinema. My own parents, when I was younger, would always first go and see a film, vet it, and then give me the permission to go and see it. But today we have progressed to such an extent where, whether we like it or not, it has almost become a parallel culture of our country. And I'm very proud to be a member of this fraternity. The Western countries have always looked upon our products with a lot of cynicism and perhaps a great deal of sarcasm. They have not liked or criticized our very escapist commercial mainstream cinema that we produce. But I think that one of the reasons that they seem to forget is that entertainment in cinema was designed for the common man, for the poor man on the street. When he labors for eight, nine hours and earns a paltry sum of five, six rupees and wants to forget his misery, his poverty and wants to get entertained, it is the cinema house that he goes to to see something that is not related to his own life. 
to realism perhaps. He wants to see something that is more extravagant, that is going to make him happy, to see beautiful people perhaps, and, and see song and dance. I'm happy that the West today, and I have been traveling a lot in most countries, recently to the United Kingdom, to America, to countries such as Morocco and Italy where special festivals are now being held on the Indian film industry and that makes me very proud as an Indian. Many a times people want to know what it is about Indian cinema that is making it so popular. And I used to see my father during his last days every evening sit outside in the hall and put on a video of one of my films. And every evening this was a ritual. And I asked him one day, what it is that you like in these Indian films? And he said, you get to see poetic justice in three hours. Many of us will not get to see poetic justice in an entire lifetime, perhaps several lifetimes. And it was the simplicity of that explanation that perhaps tells us what Indian cinema is all about. I am deeply grateful, once again, to the South Indian Education Society for giving me an opportunity to be in the presence of such great luminaries who are such an inspiration for the country and for the future of our wonderful country and for the future generation that is to come. I've spent almost uh, 40 years as a member of this great fraternity and I've received an immense amount of love and affection from my own countrymen. I shall never be able to forget the prayers and the good wishes for my life that went up from the countrymen during the time of my accident in 1982. And every platform that I get when I have the ability